Today, the focus will be centered on the hips. So we'll just be working on opening up the hips, just learning to connect more deeply to that area. And all our flow-based classes will always have a theme or a focus. We're gonna go ahead and begin with a gentle warm-up, and then we'll get flowing with the rest of the class. Let's go ahead and begin coming to a comfortable cross-legged position. Just gently place the hands on the knees or on the thighs. Try your best to sit up as tall as you possibly can while you also ground the sit bones down into the floor. We'll begin with three deep conscious breaths, breathing together. Let's go ahead and begin. Inhale, take a breath. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. We'll just wake up the body doing a few shoulder rolls. Keep the breath going, rolling the shoulders up and down the back. So just taking a moment to awaken the body. Let's go ahead and roll the shoulders forward. Okay, just coming to a neutral position. What we'll do next is interlace the fingers and we'll press the palms out. Just take a moment here to just stretch and extend the palms of the hands forward, elongating the arms. Continue to breathe. And from here, inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Pressing the palms up toward the ceiling, stretching nice and tall, elongating the sides of the waist. Continue to breathe. Now from here, we're just gonna do little micro movements. So just stretching slightly side to side, moving the waist, just like when you come out of bed, and you're just making little movements to wake up the body. Continue to breathe. Good, from here, inhale, just stretching upward into the center and exhale. We're gonna release the arms and twist gently to the right. Inhale, center, and exhale, twisting gently to the left. Good, and inhale, center, and exhale. Let's go ahead and move on to all fours. So we're just gonna place the knees under the hips, the hands under the shoulders. And then from here, I just want you to bring the feet together and we're just gonna sit back into an extended child's pose. So this is just preparing us to go into more hip opening here. So we're putting the hips into a flexion, deepening through the hip flexors. Just bring the forehead to the floor and connect to the breath. Take one more breath. And then from here, inhale coming up onto all fours. Go ahead and curl the toes under and then we'll come into a downward facing position. 
lifting the hips, bringing the hands shoulder width apart, the fingers spread, bringing the feet hip width apart. Let's just take a few breaths here. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to inhale, step our right foot forward in between the hands and we're going to drop the back leg down, the back knee down. We're just going to come up onto the fingertips, lift the chest and lift the head. So when we're here, we're, we're using the fingertips as a base here to really find this elongation extension through the arms to help elevate the chest. And then we're just going to sink the hips down toward the floor. And what this does is it creates an opening through the hip area, especially through the back leg, through the left leg. Through the front leg, we're gonna get more of a hip flexion through here. So just breathe into the stretch. One more breath. Go ahead and flatten the palms. We're going to step back into downward facing, just lifting the hips and placing the feet into a hip distance apart position. From here, inhale, step the left foot forward. In between the hands, drop the back knee. Come up onto the fingertips to create that extension through the arms and a lift through the chest. Allow the hips to drop to the floor as you counteract that by lifting upward, feeling a line of energy come out through the top of the head. You might notice a difference between sides. So sometimes we feel more open on one side, maybe a little bit more resistance on the other. Just breathe into air, any areas of tightness. One more breath. Go ahead and flatten the palms. We're gonna step back. Downward facing position. Taking a few breaths here. We're gonna repeat the same position. Inhale, stepping forward, bringing the right foot between the hands, dropping the back knee to the floor. Let's take one breath on the fingertips. And then inhale, interlace the fingers, place them on top of the thigh, and we're gonna use the a slight pressure on the thigh to create some extension through the chest, a lift to the chest, lifting the chin as you drop the hips down. So this just intensifies the opening here when we're more upright versus having the fingertips down. Let's go ahead and breathe here. And if any time you feel that this stage is too much, you can always bring the fingertips down toward the floor. Let's take a few more breaths. Good, let's place the hands down, stepping back, downward facing position. Inhale, lift the heels and step forward, left foot forward, drop the back knee down. Coming up onto the fingertips, lift the chin, take one breath. Inhale, interlace the fingers, lift the chest. You wanna make sure that the hips stay square. So just guide your right hip slightly forward, the left hip slightly back, making sure the hips are squaring. One more breath. Exhale, bring the hands down, stepping back, downward facing position. Take a few breaths and downward facing.
breathing in and out through the nose. So once again, we're gonna inhale, step the right foot forward, back knee down. One breath on the fingertips. One more breath with the fingers interlaced, lift the chest. Next, we're going to take the arms down and then sweep them overhead. So with the arms overhead, this just intensifies the hip opening here a little bit more. And we'll take one more breath here. You can either stay here or you can take the arms back slightly, coming into a slight back bend. Inhale, exhale. Bring the arms down, stepping back. Downward facing position. Step the left foot forward. Back knee down, coming to fingertips. One breath. Interlacing the fingers, pressing the palms into the thigh. One more breath. Taking the arms down, inhale, sweeping the arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, leaning the arms back, coming into an extension. Exhale, hands down, stepping back, downward facing position. Take a few breaths here. From here, we're going to come into Pigeon Pose. So inhale, bring your right leg forward. And depending on how open you feel in the hips, depends on where you're going to place the shin bone. So for those of you that feel a little bit more resistance in this position, you can always Bring the foot closer to the opposite hip. If you feel a bit more open in the hip area, you can bring the shin bone more parallel to the front edge of your mat. So just wherever you feel uh, most settled in the position, place the leg um, in whatever stage that you need to be in here. So what we'll do first is we'll come up onto the fingertips to help elevate the chest. The back leg stays a bit active. I curl the toes under. Um, I like to do that to keep the back leg more active. However, you can always point that back foot if you, if you prefer. Let's go ahead and breathe here. So you're really gonna feel it through the outer edge of the hip here. One more breath. What we'll do next is we'll come onto the elbows. So this will just intensify the opening just a bit. So just stay with your breathing, breathing into any areas of resistance. Sometimes we need to just coax the body open. We don't wanna like just push ourselves too abruptly at any one moment. One more breath. Okay, from here, we're just gonna extend outward even more, bringing the forehead down. And here we're just elongating the extension of the torso as much as we can, stretching the hands outward, and just dropping the forehead down toward the floor. So this is just deepening the opening here.
Inhale, lift your head. Let's go back for one breath on the elbows. And let's take one breath back to the fingertips. Press the palms flat, lean into the arms. Let's step back into downward facing. Inhale, place the left leg down. So again, to whatever degree you need to place the foot. So if you need a little bit more assistance here, if it's hard to access, bringing the foot closer to this hip, sit bone, or hip bone will, will give a little bit more ease. If you're more open, you can align the shin bone to the front edge of your mat. So let's start on fingertips, breathing. Elevate the chest. Exhale, lower down onto the elbows. You still want to feel this elevation through the chest. And next phase, stretching the arms out. This just intensifies the opening a bit. And then just resting the forehead down on the mat. Breathing into any areas of tightness or tension. One more breath. Inhale, slowly walk your way up, back to the elbows, one breath here. Taking it back to the fingertips, one breath here. And then press the palms flat, Lean into the arms, lift the hips, downward facing position. And from here, dropping to the knees, coming into that extended child's pose, sitting back on the heels and extending the arms outward. Drop the forehead gently toward the mat, taking a few rounds of breath. And then inhale, slowly coming up. And then we will go ahead and lie down to take rest, to wrap up this class. The legs to relax, the palms facing upward, the back body sinking into the floor, the eyes close, and releasing all conscious control of the breath. Allow the legs and feet to naturally roll open and the palms open up toward the ceiling, the back body sinking into the floor, releasing all conscious control of the breath and closing the eyes. Thank you for today's practice.